Hey guys, welcome to Gardening on the Variety Channel with Shane Storm. And today we are going to talk about one of my favorite plants to grow, the tomatilla. Now, my tomatilla patch is a little bit of a hot mess right now because of uh, the recent rains. But as you can see, uh, they sprawl out, kind of, unless you put it in a, uh, a uh, tomato cage or structure. Uh, this one, I managed to get one around. Uh, but otherwise, they just they they do uh, self-support to to a degree. So and they are very very productive. Now, if you can grow uh, peppers, tomatoes, then you will have no problem with these plants. In fact, I find them easier to grow than uh, tomatoes, or just as easy. Now, what a ripe tomatilla looks like is this guy right here. As you can see. The husk is, uh, is popped open. You can see the nice fruit right there. Uh, there was a little bit of bug damage on this one, but you can just cut those bug spots out and it'll be just fine. Now, uh, here's a fun fact. The tomatilla is a member of the nightshade family, which includes, well, obviously nightshade, uh, peppers, uh, tomatoes, and I believe, yes, and also eggplant. And uh, basically, and you you might see these at the, st at the store. Uh, they're the little uh, green husked, husked, I can't speak today, husked things. And, you know, you just, you can use them for a lot of things. You can use them for jams, you can use them for salsas, all sorts of, sorts of things. Or you can cut them up and you can kind of use them as a, uh, citrusy flavor flavoring agent in uh, like a stir fry or something and as you can see I got a lot coming on right now see there's another nice one right there and oh they fall off they're ripe oh that's a nice big one oh another one right here very very prolific plant and they may take a while to start producing but once they do they start hitting. They start coming. And all of these that you see in this little patch right here, plus, uh, let's see, where is it? This one right here and those over there, they all came up volunteer. I did not plant them. I did not grow them from seeds. The only ones I grew from seeds this year was, I think, this one. This one, and I think that one in the cage, uh, which are a type I like called a purple tomatilla. Uh, the others are seeds from plants I planted last year, and they were just a, uh, a common green tomatilla. I think it's called a Rio Grande or something. But anyway, uh, they, regardless of the type, they are fantastic. And they're very easy to preserve, and sometime I will do a video on how to preserve them and yeah and the next video you can look forward to is the tomatillas cousin which are the pineapple tomatillas or as the groups called ground cherries so stay tuned and thanks for watching gardening on the variety channel with Shane Storm